Welcome to Excel 2013 Statistical Analysis video number 29. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we're still in Chapter 4. We're still talking probability. In this video, we want to go from a raw data set, create a cross-tabulated table, convert it to a joint probability table, and then talk about single event probability and event probability or event probability, and the adding and the multiplication rule, all from our joint probability table. Now here's our data set. We have date, region, product, and sales rep. And we would like to do a cross-tabulated table with product and sales rep, and then convert it to a joint probability table. So I'm going to click in a single cell, go up to Insert, Pivot Table, or use the keyboard Alt-NV. Now I want to put the cross tab right here on this sheet. If I click up here, it'll replace this down here. So watch this. I'm going to come way over. There's something there, something there. Oh, the first cell that there's not something is way up there, and I'm going to click OK. Now I'm going to have to scroll over. I'm going to create the pivot table and then cut and paste back over there. Let's move this over here. We just want sales rep down to the rows area. Boom, a unique list. Product down to columns. Instantly a unique list. And whichever one down to values. That's a text file, so it defaults to counting. I'm going to immediately type joint probability table and Enter. Immediately go up to design, report layout, and show in tabular. I don't need this field list anymore. I'm going to close it. Select this table, Control X to cut, scroll over, click and Control V to paste. Now let's convert this to a joint probability table. Click in the values area, right click, show values as, and we want percent of grand total. Instantly we get our joint probability table. The probabilities inside the table, those are AND events with what is called a joint probability. These ones over in the margins are our marginal probabilities. That's the probability of this single event. Here it's a single event dim. So for any intersecting cell, we can see that of all the grand total, 7.5% of the sales were made by KIPP selling the V ring. Right here, Gigi selling the quad boomerang. The probability, if we randomly went out and selected a sale, would be 7.02%. Now here, we want to calculate five different probabilities from our joint probability table. So probability that we could randomly select a sale and it was a quad, well, that one is out in the margins. It's a single event. So I find the quad, I come down to the bottom, and there's our marginal probability. Now, that's a get pivot data function. I do not want to use those, so I want to escape and show you how to turn that feature off. File, Options, in Formulas, and down here in Working with Formulas, we want to uncheck Use Get Pivot Table Function and click OK. Now when I click Equals, Probability of Getting a Quad, there it is, Eight, just a regular cell reference. Enter. All right, now we want to calculate the probability that GG sold a quad. This is and, G and Q. So I'm going to come over here. This is on the inside of the table. This is a joint probability, an and event. GG, quad, click, and Enter. Now, what about calculating the probability that Sales Team 2 made a sale? Well, if we know Team 2 is made up of Tyrone, Gigi, and Philly, these are all from one field in our data set, so all the events are mutually exclusive. If it's a sale by Tyrone, it cannot also be a sale by Gigi. So we simply come down here for this OR situation. It says, Team 2 made sale, but it's really T or G or P, mutually exclusive events, so we simply add them. Equal sign Tyrone plus GG plus Philly, and Enter. There's no overlap, so we're allowed to just add. Now, next probability, sale for a VRANG or a sale made by DIM. Notice, in this case, we'll have to find the probability of VRANG, probability of the sales made by DIM, and then subtract the intersection. We subtract this so we do not double count. So here, we're going to say equals and find probability for a VRANG down in the margin. 
an event with single condition. Plus, here's dim broop, out in the margin, the single event dim made the sale. Minus, and we want to subtract the and or the joint right inside the table. That is vrang and dim. And that's it. Enter. So we calculated from our joint probability table. Now, our final calculation is a conditional one. We want to ask the question, hey, if the boomerang sold was tri-fi, what's the probability that it was chun? You could also ask the question, hey, probability of chun given that tri-fly. Now remember, once you have a given, then the sample space has changed. So I'm going to come over here, and here's our formula. It's and divided by the margin. So sample space has changed because we're only interested in tri-fly sales. So I'm going to come down here, equals chun and tri-fly divided by the margin. That's all the tri-flies, and enter. So we saw how to calculate a straight single event probability and or when the events are mutually exclusive or when they're not mutually exclusive. And even using our multiplying rule to calculate a conditional probability, all from our cross-tabulated joint probability table. All right, that's it for chapter four. Chapter five is next, and we'll talk about discrete probability distributions. All right, see you next video.